What's up guys, Crane here from LogicLounge.com. Today we're gonna to be talking about Content Delivery Networks, or CDN for short, and we're gonna be explaining to you exactly what it is. Now, before we get into the structure of a CDN, let's get a kind of definition going. For example, when you visit a website, you're being loaded content from that server. And if you're not using a CDN, you're gonna be putting stress on that server, just the, the tiniest amount of stress on that server for it to render the pages and for it to serve you the content. Now, if you have tons of visitors, this can really bog down your server and cause it to be very slow and unresponsive. And if you have a very major website and people are finding your website loading slow, well, you're probably gonna be losing some people when that happens. So how do we mediate that? Well, with a CDN. What a CDN does is it distributes the static content of your website, like pictures and videos, and puts them in locations closer to the people you are serving the content. And that varies by what content delivery network you're using. There are multiple content delivery networks out there, including Amazon, Akamai, Rackspace, lots of out ones out there. That's just some to name a few. So these services have servers all over the world. And what it does is it caches the content to those servers. And then when the person visits your site, it will load those images from those node servers instead of your personal server, thus taking the load off of your server and distributing it out across the network. So now that we have somewhat of a running definition going, let's talk about a content delivery network and how it actually works. You can think of it like a tree up at the very top you have your server. This is the root source of everything and anything that is from your website. Pictures, video, content, all of that stuff is right here. And let's say we now want to implement a content delivery network. How does this happen? Well, it's usually by DNS changes. You usually will get a DNS record for your content delivery network, they'll usually give that to you and you replace it with all of the images and picture links that happen to have within your website. Uh, most likely you're using some sort of um, website that has automation, so that will usually happen through that way. Now there are two types of content delivery networks. There's push and pull. When you push a server, that means that you're actually pushing all of that static content onto the content network's servers. For example, if I were to upload an image, what would happen to the server? Well, it would take that image and push it off to the content delivery network. The content delivery network would then take that image and cache it out across its network. A pull server works a little bit differently. Somebody actually has to request the link to what you're looking for. For example, an image. When the first and very first person goes to that image, the CDN is going to go to your root server, pull that image out, download it to its servers, and then distribute it across its network to be served locally. So when you first implement a pull server CDN, you're gonna have a little bit of slowness with loading because it's starting to cache all of that content. Now, which one is better and which one is worse? Well, there's no real right or wrong answer there. It really depends on the situation. Now that we have all of this content being served across the network. How does it work? Pretty simple. These content delivery networks have things called nodes. These nodes are servers all around the world. And I mean all around the world. They get these servers in as many places as possible to serve the content locally. And then when this person who may be in a foreign country, may be across the street or wherever, it's going to look up when it goes to get the image, it's gonna say, here's the DNS of the image. The content delivery network is gonna say, okay, I recognize you from being from, let's say Germany, for example. It's gonna say, great, you're in Germany. I'm going to find the closest node to Germany and load you the image from there. Thus in turn, allowing your website to load faster and the load on your server being nice and low. Now this will cost you some money, usually cents per the gigabyte. So not very bad if you don't have a very high traffic website. Websites like YouTube, even LogicLounge.com implement something like this. 
it's very helpful for people who might have slow websites or web servers that aren't the very fastest that's out there. It allows you to basically reach more people in a shorter amount of time. Now that we know what a content delivery network is and how it works, let me know if you guys have any questions about it. I'm here to answer it for you. I gave you the very simplest terms of what a content delivery network is. I mean, we can go into above and beyond what a content delivery network is, but for somebody looking up this video, wanting just to know simply what a content delivery network is, I think I've done that pretty well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'd also like to thank you for watching this video. Be sure to watch our other videos as well. Once again, my name is Craig Miller, and thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.